Hey, welcome back guys. My name is Kobuman. In this video, I'm going to talk about proxy and proxy settings and how you can troubleshoot it. This is specifically tailored for a desktop support person. Okay, so moving on, what is a proxy? Proxy is a basically a tunnel that all the network traffic goes through in order to access the external websites. So all the internet websites. So basically, let's say, for example, you work for, um, let's say, Discover Card or something like that. Um, you know, at your business, all the all the computers will go through a proxy server. So, um, once you, if you try to, for example, go to Google.com, it will go to the proxy first, and then it will go to the Google Google.com, and the proxy will tell it basically whether you're allowed to access Google.com or not. Same thing with, for example, Facebook. You try to go to Facebook.com, your computer will go through the proxy, and the proxy setting will tell it if Facebook.com is allowed or not. Okay, so as the first thing, um, let me show you where you can find the, the the options for the proxy. So if you're you know you get a trouble ticket, and you somebody is saying basically they can't access external websites, this is the first thing you would, this is the first place you would go to in order to check the proxy settings. So you can go to you go to the internet options, and um, you can get to this through the uh, through the Internet Explorer as well. So on the internet options, you would go to connections. So it's the fifth tab over, and then you would select LAN settings. And here, as you can tell, that my computer is not set up to go through a proxy because it's it's checked here to automatically detect settings, which is fine. If if the proxy is set up, this here will be checked, where it says use automatic configuration script. Basically, this will point to a script on a on a proxy server that will filter the traffic for you. Okay, so in here. This, well, this is one way of doing it. You would have the address of the, and it could be just, I don't know, would, let's say, what do we use as an example? Discover, you know, it could just say discover, you know, dot com, you know, and it could be, you know, named whatever else, you know, proxy, let's just say, you know, and it would route all the traffic through this um, configuration script, which is on a server and then it would point her to proxy. So let's say you get a trouble ticket and it says, you know, I can't get to google.com or facebook.com. Chances are this is either unchecked like this and you have to check it and make sure that this has the proper setting or or this setting here is wrong. So you just want to make sure because sometimes uh, companies will have multiple proxies set up. So you just got to make sure that this one is um, correct here. So, you know, if you're not sure, just go to a different computer, check this setting, write it down, come back here and make sure it's the same, okay? Alternatively, proxy server can be specified here. So you can just type in the address, so it'd be the IP address, you know, whatever it is, you know, 192.168.0, you know, that one or whatever, you know, and then you would specify the port of it. But, you know, chances are, if you're in the big business environment, you will be using a configuration script, which is um, located on a proxy server so just to kind of throw out there a couple of examples of, of uh, possibility that there's an issue with a proxy besides the setting that I, was, that I just showed you is, for example, um, you get a report saying that basically a group of people cannot, you know, access Google.com or Facebook.com. So it's a group of people, right? It's not just one computer. This is what I showed you previously. This is how to make sure that it's properly set up for a single computer. But you get a report saying that a group of people cannot access external websites. So external, you know, websites being the internet, right? So chances are it's a proxy issue, you know? But, you know, and, and, and just to kind of confirm that, you can just go to any of the internal websites, so in the intranet. So let's say a discover, you know, discover uh, a business place, you know, your location or whatever you may be, um, you know, whatever, they certainly, I'm, I'm sure they have, you know, internally made websites that are accessed through the internet and not for anybody else that, that's outside of the company. So if those websites are, you know, working fine, for example, I don't know, discover.com or, you know, discover, um, accounting discover human resources if they can access those websites just fine but they can't go to google.com or facebook.com chances are that there's something wrong with the proxy okay so you know this is the type of you know the thing you might want to look out look out for in order to kind of point to the proxy issue you know so that way if you're doing desktop support chances are you don't have direct access to the proxy server but this is you know something that you know, you can mention to the folks that are in charge of the the proxy server itself, and then you can report all the all the you know, all the report the situation to them accurately and with the with the tests that you have done. Okay, 
another case of a proxy malfunctioning proxy is it's only you know it's a, it's a random people with with the issues with you know accessing external external website that can also be a proxy because it can be intermittent sometimes because I've seen it where it's a it's the balance loader which is a, a um, um, configuration setting on the proxy server itself which is, I'm not going to go into too much of detail because it's an advanced advanced topic but it can be intermittent issue okay so you could have let's say a bunch of people in one row but only like every every other person is affected by it that can also be a proxy issue you know but generally speaking it's a you know a, a more than one person affected by the issue of not being able to access external websites so before you report the issue to the folks that have do, that do have access to the proxy server, there are a few pieces of information that you make sure that you need to make sure that you have beforehand because this is something that they're going to ask you about. So you know this way you can make it a lot easier on yourself and you can you can resolve the issue much quicker. Okay. So first thing you need to make sure is that you have the exact name of the proxy that your that your company is using or your location because you may have you know there are, some companies have multiple proxy. Uh, a proxy server. So you just got to make sure that you have the information for the exact one that you're using. Um, you need to get few IP addresses for the computers that are affected by the issue. And then chances are that they may ask you to do a trace route. Okay. So basically, what is a trace route? Trace route basically, um, you would do it from the from the host computer or the or the computer that's being affected. You would do a trace route. You do it from a through a command prompt. So you go to command prompt. Um, Okay, command prompt CMD. Right click it as admin. And from here you would just type in trace RT and then type in the IP address. And it would run a trace. Basically, it would go from one point to another, from the host to the server to the internet, and it would basically show a route of all of, of what's happening. Sort of like a ping. Sort of if you were to ping a website, it would be similar to that. And this is the information they might ask you for. So just be ready for that. Okay? So whenever you you know whenever they ask you for the information, they may uh you, you know you'll be ready. Okay. Now keep in mind there's a chance that there might be a local uh, network issue. So let's say you're, you're working at a specific location. So Discover, chances are, has you know multiple locations in, you know within the United States and all across the world, for example. So chances are, you know, just kind of have to keep you know make sure that uh, it, it you know it, it's that it's not just your location that's affected by this, because in that case it might be a local network issue and not a proxy issue. Okay. So a good way to kind of test that is to know somebody else at a different location that does desktop support, you know, just like you. So you would, you know, maybe contact them if you if you can, you know, contact them and ask them, hey, are you guys experiencing the same issue? You know, so, you know, chances are. But, you know, either way, if, if it's a you know big issue like this, chances are you would have to escalate this and go through a crisis bridge, for example, and, you know, notice notify multiple people. Right. So. So there you have it, guys. I hope this uh, desktop support a quick desktop support. A tutorial helps you and I'll, I'll try to make more of these because I think they're very valuable and, and probably make a series of this. Um, for the desktop support and um, I hope to see you next time you know if you like my video share it with friends um, with family and uh, leave a comment uh, ask me if you have any uh, if you have any um, if you have any suggestions for tutorials you know feel free to leave a comment and I'll I'll certainly get back to you okay thanks for watching and have a good one bye bye